on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Trey Codes. I hope you're enjoying your day because I'm enjoying mine. Today, I'm going to be talking about another Firebase extension, okay? If you saw my last video, I was talking about a Firebase extension related to translating text, but this one is another one that is related to monitoring toxicity within comments of your app. If you've never heard of this API that I'll be discussing, it's called Perspective API, all right? What this Perspective API does is it looks through or uses machine learning to look through the text of comments that your users may leave in your app. And then it looks for like harmful words that someone on the other end of the app could view it as an insult or disrespect or offensive or whatever it may be. So it's a pretty cool API because it allows you to create a much safer environment when it comes to the content users would leave in your app, all right? And thanks to Firebase Extension, as always, it's a very simple and easy way to set it up. So I'll be demonstrating how we can create our own app that's going to monitor toxicity based on user input. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to get access to the Perspective API. It's a quick form that you fill out. It just asks for like name, organization name, project name, language, et cetera, et cetera and then you hit submit. Once you do that, you'll then need to wait for someone on their team to email you back saying that, okay, you can now enable the API. It didn't really take long. I was able to do that within one day. So once I got the email, I moved on to the next step, which is enabling the API. Now you can enable the API in the Google Cloud Console, but since I have just recently downloaded G Cloud, which is a command line tool for using Google Cloud, I'm going to run a command that is going to enable that API for us. So I'm just gonna come over to the console and the command is G cloud space services, enable comment analyzer.googleapis.com. All right, G cloud services, enable comment analyzer.googleapis.com. Now, if I hit that command, I'm gonna wait a second, let it work its magic. And I should see a success message saying that it was enabled. Okay, operation, blah, 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 finished successful. Okay, cool, so we have the comment analyzer or that perspective API enabled. Now what we need to do is we need to create an API key in order for us to use this API. Now I already have a bunch of API keys created. As you can see, I got three of them right here, so I'm not going to create a new one. But if you wanted to, you would come over to Google Cloud, go to the credential section of whatever project you're on, and then hit this create credentials button. And that's how you create your API key. Since I already have one here, I'm not gonna show you what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and copy it now and just know that it's copy and paste it, even though I didn't show you what it was, all right? All right, I have my API key for iOS here. And now what we need to do is we need to go over to Firebase and install that extension, okay? So we'll come to the extensions tab, I'm already here, and I need to explore official Firebase extensions. We're going to look for perspective API, analyze comment toxicity with perspective API, hit install. All right, select the project, demos. Now we're gonna go through the configuration phase kind of like we did last time. So reviewability uses, this is just saying that it will charge us uh, because we're essentially using Google Cloud Functions. This tells us what Cloud Functions we're gonna get with this extension. There's one for on create and, and on update. So when we create a comment or update a comment, this API is gonna go to work. Then finally, um, we are granted review access grant to this extension and it's gonna be the cloud data store user. We wanna make sure that we have permission to actually use this extension, use this, this endpoint in general. All right, so we'll hit next. Now we need to configure the extension. We'll keep the Iowa US Central um, as far as the location. All right, so I'm gonna put my API key in there. I'm gonna blur that out that way you can't see that or run off with it. Um, the attributes to receive score for the description is going to be, uh, just leave these alone, but these are going to be the values that are returned back when we're using this endpoint. So it's gonna give us a percentage based on toxicity, severe toxicity, identity attack, and salt. It's gonna give us percentages saying this is the chances that someone will find that user's comment to fit one of these categories, all right? The collection path is gonna be comments. This is where we'll be storing the documents that need to be analyzed. The input field name that's actually going to be listened to when it comes to updating the attribute scores, which are the uh, these attribute scores right here. So that's going to be the input field name. The input field name is text. So it's listening, listening for that text property. The output field name is going to be attribute scores. So once the document has been analyzed, it's going to give us a new map called attribute scores. It's going to give us the values uh, as well as their title. And then the do not store flag value, we just set the false. I'm not sure what this does. Uh, the sort of comment that gets in the request. All right, we're not really worried about that. So we'll keep that false. 
and then we'll just hit install extension, all right? Now this is gonna take about three to five minutes, so I'll check back in with you in about three to five minutes, all right? I'll be right back. All right, cool, so we have our API set up. Now what we need to do is we need to go into our Firestore collection and give it the comments. Well, actually, let me show you the function that we just got to make sure they were installed correctly. So we have our update and create for the Firebase perspective. Cool, we're good to go there. Now we can come over to our Firestore table and we need to create a comments collection that's going to be used for this extension. We'll create the first document in here and we'll create a text field with the title, I like sunshine, okay? With save, so now we're good there. All right, we have everything set up on the back end. Now we need to go ahead and jump into the code in Flutter and actually use this. All right, so this is a, a basic app that I've made to use the Perspective API extension. So as you can see here, it has the comment, I love sunshine at the top, and then a marker that just says this comment is safe. And this is based on if the, the average of the scores is greater than 20%. So if it's more than 20%, it's a harmful comment. If it's under 20%, we mark it as safe. So based on this comment, I love sunshine. As you can see, the averages of these scores are all below 20%, so it's good. Um, if I change it to a, a, a negative comment, like I hate your face, so don't talk to me. All right, we hit send on that one. This one should be marked as negative because there's some words in here that the machine learning would use and pick up and say, hey, this could be offensive to someone. So as you can see, this comment is harmful. There's a 48% chance it can be labeled as an identity attack, 81% chance it can be labeled as an insult, 56% chance labeled as profanity, 53% chance severe toxicity, 38% chance labeled as a threat, and 79% chance labeled as toxicity. Okay, so as you can see, it does a good job of picking up on keywords that might be interpreted as offensive for someone else that's reading the comment. So in order to make this, I just have a simple document reference that references this document right here. All right, the one that we created in the comments table, a text editing controller that we use to apply to the text field to capture the text. There's this method called get attribute score average where I just add up the values of all of these percentages right here, okay? and then divide them by six to get that average. So then there's just a stream builder that's going to be watching for changes on that document. Um, first, we make sure that the connection state of that snapshot, which is the document, um, make sure that it's not waiting. If it's not, then we go ahead and call the from JSON method on this comment model to convert that document to a comment model, all right? The comment model that I made here is just everything that you see in this document, but it's using an object. All right, then we come down here into this column and I created a list tile for the comment score this tile. That is basically what you see up here. If the value is greater than 20%, which is the average that I passed in, then we're going to say this is harmful, otherwise it's safe. And if it's safe, it gets green text. If it's not, it gets red text, all right? Then we have just these uh, a list tile that I created for the attribute scores as well, which is similar to the comment score list tile, but instead of displaying, hey, this comment is harmful or whatever, we actually display the value of toxicity for that category. So for identity attack, if its value is greater than 20%, we give it a red thumbs down. If it's under 20%, we give it a green thumbs up. And we also show the percentage. That way the user can know exactly where the toxicity is being labeled at. So I have attribute score list tiles for all six categories right here. Then at the very bottom, we just have a text field that we're gonna be using in interaction with the text controller to be able to update that comment.rev text property whenever the user specifies, okay? Then once we're done, we clear the text controller up. So right now we have a negative comment. Let's go ahead and give a, a positive comment. Let's say, I love rainbows, something that could never be negative. I love rainbows and kittens. Right there, I love rainbows and kittens. This is a, this comment is safe. 3% chance for identity attack, 2% for insult, 3% for profanity, 2% for severe toxicity, 9% for threat, and 2% for toxicity, okay? So that is how we can use the Perspective API Firebase extension in order to quickly monitor the comments that users may be doing in your app that could be malicious, could not be, but you wanna be able to make sure, all right? Um, 
this is very helpful whenever you have some type of freedom when it comes to the content your users can put up. Some apps restrict things that users can say or do or, or post or whatever, but if you wanna do it on the fly with easy setup and you know, kind of save some money because that way you don't have to buy like an expensive third API for doing this. This one is completely free. Uh, you can use the API directly if you want to, but since Firebase Extensions has made one for this API, I'm gonna go ahead and use this from now on. But yeah, this is how you would set it up. Very helpful. Uh, as always, if this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Firebase extension. I will also be dropping the source code to this demonstration in the code, so be sure to check out my GitHub. Be sure to follow me too if you're not already, but if you're not, just go ahead and check that out. That way you can follow along with this video, okay? As always, this is Trey Cole signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace.